News just in, a significant earthquake has struck the United States. The seismic event, preliminary reports suggest, has its epicenter in the heart of the country, shaking the very core of our nation. The initial magnitude, as reported by the United States Geological Survey, is substantial, indicating the potential for considerable damage and disruption. We're all feeling the tremors, both physically and metaphorically, as we brace ourselves for the repercussions of this powerful, natural phenomenon. As we speak, emergency services are being mobilized, scientists are assessing the data, and our community is coming together, ready to face whatever comes next. This is a fluid situation, with the landscape quite literally shifting beneath our feet. Information is coming in thick and fast and we are committed to keeping you informed, to bringing you the most accurate, up-to-date facts as they emerge from the chaos. We will continue to monitor the situation closely and provide updates as they come in. Now we're heading to the epicenter for live updates. At this very moment, we're getting the latest news from Ground Zero, the heart of the earthquake. It's a scene of intense activity, as first responders, volunteers and community members rally together in the face of adversity. Buildings have been affected, some more severely than others. Reports are coming in of roads split wide open, power lines down, and in some places, water mains have ruptured, creating a challenging environment for rescue efforts. Despite these hurdles, the spirit of resilience is palpable. The human spirit, undeterred by the magnitude of the catastrophe, is shining through. Neighbors are aiding neighbors, strangers are helping strangers, and together, they're forming a bulwark against the seismic challenge that Mother Nature has thrown their way. Emergency services are working round the clock, with search and rescue teams scouring the impacted areas for any signs of life under the rubble. Every so often a cheer goes up, a signal that another life has been saved, another family spared the worst of the heartache. The situation is fluid and information is still coming in. It's crucial to remember that these are early reports, and as we gain more clarity, the full extent of the damage will come into sharper focus. Even now, geologists are studying the seismic data, attempting to understand the quake's epicenter, its depth, and potential aftershock scenarios. We're also hearing of relief efforts being mobilized across the country. Aid organizations are rallying, gathering supplies and resources to support those affected. It's a testament to the indomitable American spirit, one of unity, resilience, and unwavering support in the face of adversity. As we continue to monitor the situation, our thoughts are with those impacted by this event. Rest assured, we're committed to bringing you the most accurate, timely updates as the story unfolds. We will keep you posted with any further developments from the epicenter. Authorities are now responding to this seismic event. From city halls to the hallways of our nation's capital, the response to this earthquake has been swift and coordinated. Local authorities were the first to step up. Their quick action in the immediate aftermath has been instrumental in managing the situation. They've been working tirelessly to assess the extent of the damage and to ensure the safety of those affected. On a national level, the response has been equally as proactive. Our nation's leaders have been briefed and are closely monitoring the situation. They've released statements expressing their concern and commitment to assist in the recovery efforts. The president has already declared a state of emergency, paving the way for federal aid to flow into the affected areas. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, better known as FEMA, has been activated. They are collaborating closely with state and local officials to provide emergency relief and support. This includes search and rescue missions, setting up temporary shelters, and ensuring that medical aid is readily available. The United States Geological Survey, the agency responsible for monitoring earthquakes, is providing valuable insight into the quake's characteristics. Their expertise is crucial in understanding what happened and how to mitigate the impact of potential aftershocks. It's important to remember that during these times following official advice is paramount. Authorities have a clear overview of the situation and their guidelines are designed to keep us safe. They advise us to stay clear of damaged buildings, be aware of possible aftershocks, and to keep the lines of communication open for emergency services. The reaction from authorities has been swift, coordinated, and comprehensive. It's a testament to the resilience of our society and the strength of our systems in place. It's a reminder that even in the face of nature's fury, we have the capacity to respond to protect and to rebuild. Stay tuned for more updates on the authorities' response to this event. Let's hear from the people affected and discuss safety measures during such events. Across the nation, the tremors have left a lasting impact. People from all walks of life have shared their experiences, 
Some described the ground shaking beneath them, the thunderous rumbling sounds, the startling suddenness of it all. One lady from California recounts, Everything started swaying. I saw my bookshelf topple over. It was terrifying. A man from Oregon shares, I've never felt anything like it. I was in the middle of my morning jog when the earth beneath me started to move. These first-hand accounts remind us of the sheer power of nature and the importance of being prepared for such occurrences. So, let's discuss some basic yet crucial safety tips for dealing with earthquakes. Firstly, remember the three essential steps. Drop, cover, and hold on. Drop to your hands and knees to prevent being knocked over. Cover your head and neck and if possible take cover under a sturdy piece of furniture. Hold on until the shaking stops. If you're outdoors, move away from buildings, streetlights, and utility wires. Once in the open, stay there until the shaking stops. If you're driving, pull over to a clear location and stay inside your vehicle until the shaking stops. It's also important to have a disaster plan in place with your family. Know your safe spots in each room. Have an emergency kit ready with enough food, water, and necessary medications to last for at least 72 hours. In the aftermath of the quake, be cautious. Check for fire hazards, gas leaks, and electrical system damages. Listen to the radio or TV for updates and instructions from local officials. Your preparedness can make all the difference in times of such unpredictable events. It's not just about surviving the immediate tremors, but also about navigating the aftermath safely. Indeed, the public reaction to this earthquake is a testament to our resilience. It's a reminder that we can face anything with preparedness and unity. Remember, your safety is paramount. Stay calm, stay safe. As we navigate this unfolding situation, here's a summary of what we know so far. An earthquake has struck, of a magnitude that has sent shockwaves not just through the ground, but through our communities as well. From ground zero, we've seen the immediate aftermath, the damage that has been caused and the strength of the people in the face of adversity. The authorities have been quick to respond, mobilizing resources and implementing plans to ensure the safety and well-being of those affected. They've shown a strong commitment to managing this crisis, providing reassurance in uncertain times. The public reaction has been one of unity and resilience. There's an abundance of caution being exercised, but also a tremendous outpouring of support for the victims. Safety tips are being shared far and wide to help the community navigate this turbulent time. Our thoughts are with those affected by this earthquake. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to follow this story closely.